Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Weapons Rack. This is technically the third weapons pack that we have seen in the Masters of the Universe Classics line. But this one includes something a little cooler than the two before it. The Castle Grayskull Weapons Rack, straight from the Vintage Playset. The Weapons Rack comes on a blister card in the same fashion as the other weapons packs. The rack is seen on the left hand side, while you can see all of the weapons on the right scattered across several individual blisters. The back of the card just shows off several other Masters of the Universe Classics figures. Why hello there, Mr. Toy Guru. I see you on the back of that box. The weapons rack itself is sculpted to look like a wooden rack. Details in the sculpt along with a wonderful paint job do a terrific job of bringing that wooden look to life. The rack is filled with small little pegs all over both sides, and the pegs are very solid and permanently attached. Now the rack is actually a lot lighter in weight than I thought it was going to be. It's made of a hollow plastic, but it still feels nice and sturdy. The rack comes with a wide array of weapons, molded in two different colors. This first bunch here are all a silver color that have a really nice rusting lightly brushed over them. It's a little hard to see it in the video, but when you get them in hand you'll really notice it. And that rust looks really nice, giving them that ancient unused feeling. All of these weapons have been seen on figures already released, such as Scareglow Scabbard, the Royal Guard's axe, and even the gun that came with Man at Arms. The other batch of weapons are all in a metallic maroon type color. The reason for this is that they are meant to be a nod to the vintage Manny Faces figure that came with this assortment of weapons all in a maroon color, often referred to as Manny Weapons. Now again, all of these weapons have been seen on previous figures, such as the gun from Web Store and the club and the axe from the Royal Guard set. The weapons all easily hang right on the rack. They fit very snugly on the pegs and it's easy to place them all on, and they hold tight right in place. That shield can clip on the poles on the side and Really, you can just arrange the weapons any way you please to on that rack, and they all seem to stay very well. Alright, unfortunately, I do not have a vintage weapons rack to compare this to. My Castle Grayskull is missing it. Sorry, guys. So here's a photo of the original, courtesy of He-Man.org. As you can see, this new rack is designed to look just like the original. Now I do have a bunch of the old weapons rack weapons to compare it to. See, there's the Scareglow Staff, we've got the Spear, we've got the Gun, you get the idea. All of the weapons on this new rack are straight from the vintage toy. Oh, in case you were wondering, yes, the original weapons do fit on the new weapons rack. They're a little smaller in scale and they fit a little more loosely, but they do stay in place. The weapons rack is a cool little diorama piece to add to your collection. It's a really neat nod to the vintage Castle Grayskull playset, and it also looks really nice on your shelf. Plus, with a whole empty side on the rack, some may choose to actually use this to hold excess weapons not being held by their figures. So it also works as an accessory organizer. The weapons rack will be available on MattyCollector.com 
in April. Until next time. <laughs>